What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, a.k.a. That Sports Gamer here, baseball community manager for Out of the Park Developments. We are back here playing some OTP 18. Uh, tonight we are diving back into our 1985 historical uh, game where we're trying to turn the Detroit Tigers into back-to-back -back world champions. And uh, that seems like it's definitely not going to happen. Uh, being that it's August 11th, and we are firmly in third place, 10 games back with a 53-57 record. Not great. Uh, but we're just going to ride this out, see what happens. And uh, maybe towards the end, we'll discuss what we're going to do next uh, to go along with our Padres franchise that we're doing. Uh, let's take, hop here, take a little look at how the team is playing. Uh, we got Walt Terrell is 11 and 7 with a 267 ERA. That's a uh, that's pretty good. Can't really complain about that. He's out there doing work. Jack Morris 9 and 9 with a 341 ERA. Dan Petrie 9 and 7 with a 363. And here's the problem. We got Randy O'Neill 4 and 9 with a 622. Bob Stoddard 0 oh and 6 with a 820. You know what? Let's just let's just cut us down to a four man rotation. And just work with it. Uh, Willie Hernandez in the pen. 20 saves, but a 4.79 ERA. That's not that great. Uh, but Doug Blair doing work with a 2.77 ERA. And let's go check out the offensive side of the dish. Uh, let's see the stats. Uh, who's hitting good for us? Sweet Lou hitting 3.32. 17 home runs, 60 RBIs. Uh, then we got Kirk Gibson, 307, 18 home runs, 70 RBIs. Uh, I believe the Royals won in 85, IRL. Uh, Lance Parrish, 267, 18 home runs. 25 home runs for Darrell Evans, but he only was hitting 220, uh, 233. Anybody else putting up big numbers? That's pretty much it. But, you know, we got some guys putting the numbers. Alan Trammell hitting 280, 10 home runs, 39, 30, 39 RBIs. So not terrible, but uh, just not doing the work that we need to get done. Red Sox leading the East. What do they got going on? Wade Boggs hitting 390, Jim Rice hitting 338, Rich Gedman hitting 331. So... They're doing work. Bobby Ojeda's with a 318 ERA. Clemens with a four. So, I mean, they're not pitching great, but they're pitching good enough. Good enough to get those wins. The Yankees are in second in the division. We're not too far behind them, but uh, Ricky Henderson sitting 360. Wow. Uh, 360, 19 home runs, 61 RBIs. Donnie Baseball hitting 291. Coming off his uh, 84 season, uh, dropping down to 291, not that great. But has 18 home runs, so he's going to have a career year in home runs here. Dan Pasqua went to my high school. I think he actually went to school with my mom. Uh, Mike Pagley really with 21 home runs. Don Baylor with 20. Ricky, like we said, with 19. Dave Winfield doing work, 269. Again, the Yankees were kind of beastly in 84. Uh, as you can tell by Dave Winfield hitting 340. Um, and Ricky Anderson's kind of tearing it up. All right, so let's uh, let's go a little bit here uh, into the future. Let's see what happens. Let's hop a week. Let's hop a week or two. We're in August. We'll just kind of take tonight's stream to finish this out. Yeah, the 84 Tigers were kind of dominant. Uh, I believe... Uh, her, uh, Billy Hernandez won the MVP and the Cy Young that year. Ugh, Lance Parrish hurt. Did we trade Smoltz? Did we make a move for Smoltz? Oh, no, Smoltz gets drafted... This year, right? That's what happens. This is the year that they draft Smoltz. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Phil Bradley out. Oh no, Spike Owen got hurt. I don't want to hear about that. All right, nine games back, or nine and a half games back. Come on, let's get to 500. Oh, Lance Power strains a rib cage out for two weeks. That's rough. We that is no bueno. Any beasts in the miners we can call up? Mike Henneman. But he's way too low to even think about bringing up now. Nobody else get hurt. I mean, we're nine games back, but... I don't think we got the time. Gary Ward out for the season. He was playing good, too. 290, 13 home runs, 58 RBIs. George Brett dominating 332. Now Alan Trammell's out for six weeks. Yeah, we're definitely. I don't. Even, we're not even gonna make the playoffs here. Unless we go on some sort of crazy run, which I don't see us doing. I mean, we're almost at 500. We're a game under 500. We're at 500 again. Okay. I mean, maybe we can do something here. Doyle Alexander. Out for the year. Come on, let's get let's get strong here. Seventy and sixty nine. I mean, we're still far back, but twenty games to go. We're gonna need a monumental failure from these guys above us. Athletics have been eliminated. Ugh. Daryl Evans out for four weeks. No good. We're next on the chopping block here. Ugh, Chet Lemon, what are you doing? Bone chips, four months. Who sent me a personal message? Leon Roberts calling it a career. Not bad. And we're eliminated. Oh, rough. It's tragic. Despite our best efforts, the Detroit Tigers were officially eliminated from playoff contention today. Before the season, the Tigers last missed the playoffs in 1983. In the 103 years they have been a Major League Baseball franchise, they've missed the playoffs 93 times. And in the last 10 years, they missed them 9 times. But yeah, we won the World Series last year. Rough. Rough. Alright, let's see how these playoffs play out. Jerry Groot retiring. Alright, regular season ends. And let me pull up the real 1985 MLB season over on Baseball Reference. We'll see what happens here. Finish today.
Okay. So let's see how this ended up. You can assure me that Kansas City did not win 115 games. That's uh, pretty, pretty good for them. Uh, where are the standings on this page? Dink, 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 dink. IRL. The Royals went 91 and 71. And the Blue Jays went 99 and 62. Blue Jays did not fail to make the playoffs here. Uh, it was the Royals and yeah, it was the Royals and the Blue Jays. And then it was the Cardinals and the Dodgers. So the Dodgers made it. So the West Side kept up their ends of the bargain here. Uh, in real life, the Expos went 84 and 77, not 96 and 67. Or 95 and 67. Cardinals were 101 and 61. Ended up 94 and 68 here. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, as I said, uh, Royals w ended up winning the World Series over the Cardinals. Uh, let's get some batting league leaders. Expand all these. Uh, IRL, your batting champ in the American League was, you guessed it, Wade Boggs, hitting 368. Not the 389 that he hit in the game, but that's uh, still pretty dang good. Uh, George Brett hit 335 in real life, hit 337 in this season. Uh, second place was. Uh, Willie McGee in real life, who hit 353. Uh, then for home runs in the AL, it was Dwight Evans with 40, Carlton Fisk with 37, and. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Willie McGee. Okay, I'm sorry. I was looking at the, the wrong thing on. Uh, on baseball reference. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, in real life, Willie McGee won the batting title in the NL. He won it here, hitting 331. So, that's good. Very, very accurate. Very liking that. Liking that a lot. Uh, what do we say? Home runs. We got, in real life, it was a Fisk. Uh, Evans had 40 to lead the AL. Fisk was second. Uh, Balboni was third. Uh, here we had Balboni finishing first with Inseco and Priestley behind him. Uh, in the NL, it was Eric Davis, Andre Dawson, and Mike Schmidt in the game. Uh, in real life, it was Dale Murphy, uh, Dave Parker, and Mike Schmidt. So Schmidt's, Schmidt's still there. Schmidt hit 33 in real life, 32 in the game. So close. We close. Uh, RBIs in real life, uh, it was Mattingly, Murray, and Winfield in the AL, uh, with 145 being the leader. And then Parker... Murphy and her in the NL. None of them made it here. Uh, let's take a look at some of the pitching stuff. The league leader in wins uh, for the NL IRL uh, was Dwight Gooden with 24. Uh, here he had 18. Uh, Hershiser had 19 in real life. 18 here. Uh, and then for the AL, uh, it was Ron Guidry with 22, Brett Saberhagen with 20, and Frank Viola with 18. None of them made it here. Uh, strikeouts. Let's see. Strikeouts, strikeouts, strikeouts. Uh, Gooden led baseball in strikeouts. As he does here. Uh, 268 in real life, 286 in the game. Uh, Riho and Ryan, uh, I'm sorry, Riho and Venezuela, Valenzuela were behind him in real life. In the AL, uh, Jack Morris was actually seventh overall with 191, so we're close there. Uh, Bleeding the AL was Nolan Ryan. 
uh, Blylevin and uh, Bannister. So yeah, not not crazy far off. Most of most of the stuff stayed pretty true uh, to what happened in real life. All right, so let's hop into these playoffs and uh, let's see what happens here. Well, the playoffs have now a big gun. Okay, so we got Red Sox Royals, pretty sure it's Charlie Lee Bryant, Oil Can Boyd, Mark Gubza. This is like a young Mark Gubza, right? Only a second pro year. Everybody, everybody's young here. It's the only uh, Saberhagen's second year. Clemens's second year, yeah. All right, Clemens. I don't think Clemens was ninety three. All right. Uh, and then with the Reds and Expos, Rob Lopez versus Bill Gullickson, Andy McGaffigan, and Dave Palmer, Byron Smith, and Jay Tibbs. All right. Let's, uh, let's go with the playoff tree to see it a little easier. All right. Red Sox and Royals are tied at one apiece after two. Expos took the first game of their series, and then Reds tied it up. So everybody's tied up uh, at one. Royals, uh, Red Sox take game two, or game three, sorry, and the Reds take game three. We could have a red, red uh, playoffs here. No need to worry about Daryl Evans coming off the DL. All right, 3-2 Red Sox, versus, and then it's 2-2 in the NL. 3-2 Red Sox, 3-2 Expos. Ooh, Royals tie it up at three. And the Red Sox win game seven and face the Expos in the World Series. Wow. All right, let's go to playoff coverage. Bruce, Bruce Hurst versus David Palmer in game one. Then Clemens and Shatzitter in Game 2. Byron Smith and Bobby O in Game 3. Bill Gullickson and Oil Can Boyd in Game 4. Let's go. Red Sox take the win in Game 1. Thanks to Bruce Kissin. They win at 6-3. All right, all right. Uh oh and then the Expos battle back for Game 2. All right, all right. Uh, we will hop into one of the games to, to see what happens, assuming we get keep it close. I received a personal message probably saying that I'm fired. Juan Beringer. Don't hate. All right. Red Sox take game three. Bobby O out here doing work. Andres Galarraga, just FYI, already has five home runs. No, no, I'm sorry, five RBIs. He's out here. He's playing 3-1. Red Sox. Red Sox win it. Steve Lyons hits a home run in his rookie year to win the World Series. Let's go here and check the... Uh, Check the box score. If we would have stayed closer, we definitely would have simmed it out. Uh, it was all about winning for the Red Sox as they did. Nothing fancy about how it went down. Players said they just prepared physically and mentally. They went out and played baseball. That's what they do here. Dave Hostetler had three hits, went three for four. Beastly. Including a triple. But it was not enough. Wade Boggs out here doing work with a double. Lions with the home run. Interesting game. Straight to the pen. Did he get hurt? Oh! Pitched an inning and messed up his shoulder and had to come out of the game. Not good. Not good. And Andre... Andre Scalarago was ejected. Weak. Weak. Uh, two home runs for Mike Easler. He was the MVP. Steve Lyons also had two home runs. 
David Palmer, the only guy to pitch more than seven innings in the series. Not bad. All right. So we were quite unsuccessful uh, at doing this back-to-back thing. I'm a little upset. I'm not going to lie. I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed. Save this out. That was, a, that was an utter failure. That was an utter failure on my part. Uh, we definitely should have made that trade for Keith Hernandez and made Rich make uh, and made Rich upset. We didn't, but that was dumb. Uh, I mean, now we got a lot of time left. You know what we're going to do? We're going to hop in. We're going to do the finish the rest of this Padres. Work on this Padres rebuild. <laughs> 